Bill O'Reilly here. Welcome to the No Spin News, Thursday, January 19th, 2023. Stand up for your country. So we're making some progress here, um, spreading the word about what's good for America. And I think I know pretty much what is good for all of us and what isn't good. And that comes from experience and training and observation and I come at it from a historian slash journalist point of view. So I'm pretty confident what I tell you every day and what you hear on the radio is advancing a positive scenario for the United States of America. Now, you can call me cocky. You can say I'm bragging. You can do it all, all you want. But in my heart, I know I am trying to do the right thing. And it's good that we are making progress. And that is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. So here's a vivid demonstration of that. As you know, we have been saying that the open border policy of President Biden is a disaster for everybody. It's a disaster for the American people. It's a disaster for the migrants themselves. And earlier this week, we showed you that horrendous video of the three little girls from El Salvador, nine, seven, and 18 months, sobbing on the banks of the Rio Grande River. Mexican authorities rescued them no adult in sight. These girls are now in a foster home in Mexico, and you can imagine what their lives are going to be. All right, somebody just dumped them on the Mexican side of the Rio Grande River. And they did that because there are millions of people trying to get into the United States through the southern border, and that's controlled by the cartels. So God knows what happened to the adults who took these precious girls from El Salvador and moved them thousands of miles north. We don't know. Cartels might have killed them. Anything could have happened. But the fact remains the girls were abandoned. And I made a big deal out of it because Biden doesn't care. I think he addressed the issue. He did not. No senator that I know of, Democrat or Republican, addressed it. And this video's out there. And then the corrupt mainstream media didn't address it. I'll get into that in a moment. Anyway, I was on News Nation last night. I do a hit um, with Chris Cuomo uh, every Wednesday night. And I said to them, they said, well, what do you want to talk about? I said this. I want to talk about this, this migrants getting hurt and this open border insanity and Biden's dereliction of duty. And they said, OK. And that's what we did. Roll the tape. I want you to understand the big picture, how dangerous Mexico is to America. Mm -hmm. If you combine the out of control migration with the narcotics, you have a problem far beyond the jihadists. So why is the president of the United States and the corporate media ignoring the problem? Why? Because it makes Biden and the Democrats look bad. Uh, now, Trump at well, least did something. He but, forced Obrador. Yeah, he Trump did more than something. Trump forced Obrador. Yeah, he did more than something. His best put foreign policy. The military on the yeah, board. His, Trump's best it. foreign policy decision, okay? And probably, you know, I'm surprised he didn't blow his horn more about this at the time, frankly, because I was covering it when he was doing it. Um, him threatening the tariff against Mexico made the difference to Obrador, certainly with migration. And it's true. Obrador, because Trump threatened Mexico, not only with a tariff, but with designating the cartels as terrorists so that the United States could kill them, all right, under the Patriot Act, Obrador put his army on the southern border, Guatemala, and that chokes off all Central American and South American migration, and on the northern border. And the cartels couldn't easily move people in and out. And the day that Biden was inaugurated, he knocked all of Trump's um, progress on the border out, destroyed it, and then instituted an open border. So Chris Cuomo, a liberal, all right, he is. Now, he's trying to be fair now in a different forum on CNN. Well, you know what he was doing on CNN, but now it's a whole different game. And uh, he's reasonable in our discussions. They're good discussions. If you want to see more of that, it's on BillOReilly.com. We post it. Uh, I understand, and I don't know this for a fact, but uh, Twitter blows up every time I go on there and people are back and forthing about the debate. And it's a healthy debate. And the other cables don't do debates anymore, okay, because it's too hard. 
Um, so they just say, um, the host will come on and say, well, this is what I think. And now joining us is somebody who agrees with me 100 percent. And here they are. And CNN still brings in the panel of seven people who all agree with Wolf Blitzer or whatever it is. It's just boring. Anyway, News Nation is trying to have debate, which is what made the O'Reilly factor the success it is. OK, so um, BillOReilly.com is an independent news agency. News Nation hires me to go on and do commentary, as many other uh, businesses do. I do a variety of things. And we have expanded now worldwide. And not only that, but the No Spin News that you are watching is on 100 radio stations and soon to be many more at night. So they take us at night. Jimbo Hammond uh, retired and then died. Jim was a good guy in Westwood One. So there's a big opening night and radio stations from Alaska to Florida are taking the No Spin News and broadcasting the audio to their audiences. WABC is colossally successful with doing that at 9 o'clock. And they've branded uh, the No Spin News Common Sense on WABC. So our reach now, it's not, I wouldn't say it's as powerful as when I was on Fox News, but it's getting there, all right? And, and so what I say goes many, many different places. It's not centralized like FNC. All right. But it's getting out there. And our commentary here is based on facts. You all know that. I'm not emotional. I'm not an ideologue. I'm not getting into conspiracy stuff and ridiculous. I'm not wasting your time. I'm giving you information that hopefully will help your life and protect your family. OK, so that's the memo. This is a good thing. All right. Out of horror. And that's what this open border thing is. This will go down in history as one of the worst presidential policies ever. OK, there's no excuse for it. Biden's lazy. He's incompetent. It's his fault. Get right an executive order tomorrow and stop it. He won't. It's 100 percent on him. And how people on the midterm election voted for the Democrats, I, I just can't even. And I've been through this with you. It's not that Republicans are so good. They're not. OK, again, no Republican senator brought this video up and made a big deal out of it. Mitch McConnell couldn't care less. All right, so you, you, know, you can't promote one party, and I won't. All right, Biden, uh, California, visit the flooding. You know, okay, this is what a president is supposed to do, go out and sympathize, and he'll throw money at it. Uh, you know, Biden's the biggest spending president in the history of the Republic by far. We have a letter uh, that I'm going to answer uh, later on the broadcast that will put that in perspective. But Biden's solution to everything is more, more spending, spend, 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 spend. Nobody watches it, of course. Nobody wa You know, say Biden gives uh, California $100 billion to clean up after this terrible storm situation. All right, say federal money goes in. All right, well, nobody knows how that federal money is used. There's no accountability for it. It goes there. It's distributed by FEMA, a federal agency, and it goes to towns and counties and all, but that's it. I don't know. Now, I'm not accusing American counties and towns of corruption, but certainly it's possible. So we don't know. But that's a Biden. Let's give him a 50 million here, uh, 2 billion there, whatever it may be. All right. He's not going to throw billions at California. Well, maybe he will. Maybe he'll give him one or 2 billion. Who knows? All right, uh, Gavin Newsom is the governor of California. He's run the state into the ground. Gavin wants to be president. Um, and he said something very interesting. That was astounding, not, not interesting, um, about taxes in California. Go. I just want to remind everybody out there, 95% of Texans pay higher taxes than Californians. We have the highest tax rate among them with New York, but not everybody lives in that rarefied world. In fact, 99% of you don't. So you pay less taxes. It's just so important to get that out. Of course, that's not true. So the Sacramento Bee, a newspaper, to its credit, said, where'd you get that stat? So <laughs> I love this. So Newsom cites some crazy, and I mean crazy left, uh, institute. The Institute on Taxation and Economic Policy, ITEP. Okay which 
is in business to promote socialism. That's what it does. That, and they take, he takes those stats. So we at the No Spin News say, let's get the real stats from the tax foundation. And here they are. So the corporate tax rate, the business tax rate, California is 8.8%. Texas has no corporate tax. So come on. I mean, that's number one. Um, the sales tax in Texas is 8.2. In California, it's 8.8. Okay, everybody buys stuff. That's higher. Um, and then you have the overall taxes paid per person. Okay, again, this is from the Tax Foundation. Texans pay $6,335 per person. In, in, um, they have no state income tax. Okay, $6,335 a person. California, $12,000 a person. Almost a double. And there's Newsom going, oh, no, no. <laughs> It's like it, and that doesn't even count the gasoline tax, 54 cents a gallon in California, Texas, 20 cents a gallon. So this is just another example of politicians. I mean, you heard Biden earlier this week. Go, oh, I drove that deficit down a trillion dollars. And he was totally distorting it because the reason the deficit went down a trillion is because all the COVID spending stopped. By law, he didn't have anything to do with it. And this is Newsom. So I, it's my job to watch all of these people. And, and it's just astounding how bad it's getting. You know, it was always bad, but not nearly like this. Hey, Bill O'Reilly here. I want to tell you about Ghost Bed. GhostBed has been designing high-quality sleep products for more than two decades with more than 50,000 positive customer reviews. Wow. GhostBed has luxury mattresses and premium sheets that get softer with every wash. Their mattresses have a cooling feature. Each is made with their signature Ghost Ice fabric, perfect for hot sleepers. Get fast and free shipping plus a 101-night sleep trial with free returns. Trying their mattress is truly risk-free. So please go online, take their quiz to find out the ideal mattress for your sleeping style. Get 30% off ghost bed mattresses, plus two free luxury pillows, or get 40% off when you bundle a mattress with their award-winning adjustable base. Use promo code BILL at ghostbed.com slash bill to take advantage of this fabulous offer. That's ghostbed.com slash bill, promo code bill. Okay, let's go to the mail. August Dean, Huntington, New York. Why was Obama storing top secret documents in Biden's garage? Obama? Gus, is this on a website someplace that Obama is involved with this Biden document thing. Please let me know what website that is. Obama have anything to do with this. <laughs> All right, Susan on the message board. Remember when the Democrats were chastising President Trump when children were separated from adults who crossed the border? It was because the vast majority of those adults were not related to the children. That was confirmed by DNA testing. It was a massive trafficking situation. Some truth to that. Under the Trump administration, they were trying to figure out who was who. OK, these kids come across the board with Uncle Jose. Well, is he really the uncle? And they had to separate because the kids were scared. So you make a good point that has never been really reported accurately in the press, Susan. Thank you. Christopher uh, Sylvania, Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Bill, can you do a segment on systematic racism and the growing threat of white supremacy? Because I don't see it. It's there. Stormfront and those organizations, they're white supremacists, neo-Nazis. It's there on the Internet. You can find it. I don't know why you would look for it. But it's not anything that is growing. I assume the FBI has infiltrated all of these groups. 
they don't really surface very much, um, but it's there. Richard Emke, Syracuse, New York, what mechanism is in place to oversee the Department of Justice? The Inspector General oversees the Department of Justice. And Congress oversees all the departments. That's who regulates. Jerry DeVore, Honolulu, seems odd whenever there's a Democratic president, congressional Republicans threaten to shut down a government, but whenever a Republican president, they're willing to spend like drunken sailors. Okay, Jerry, there is some truth to what you are saying. Under Trump, the spending was massive. Okay, first on rebuilding the military, and then COVID kicked in. And we taxpayers had to pay for all of those vaccines. Massive spending. Biden's worse. Biden's spending far more than Trump and will never stop. Trump didn't really care about the budget and the deficit very much. He wanted results. And he got them. He got the vaccine up and running fast. He had to pay. We had to pay plenty for that. But you're, you're right in the sense that neither political party, okay, is disciplined. However, the Republicans want a balanced budget amendment. If that were put up, most Republicans would vote for it. Bob Hedfifi, Thornton, Colorado. I ate out the other day, took your advice, Bill. I ordered an appetizer and a dinner salad and was just right. Your smart life statements are great. You know, it depends on a restaurant, but if they give you a healthy appetizer, you know, a bunch of stuff there, and you get a salad, and you drink some water, you can get out of there for uh, not a lot of money and you'll be full. Scott Banning, Charleston, South Carolina. This day in history last evening was interesting. You quoted prohibition as one of the worst laws ever. It was. Um, and today, 75% of Americans drink regularly. But why does the USA continue to support the drinking age of 21? It should be 18. No. Why would you make it 18? Since it was raised to 21, the drunk driving stats have gone down. That's what it's all about. Danger on the road. And where do you see what happens with this pot stuff? In your own state, Colorado, the DUIs are way up since marijuana has been legalized. All right. Um, let me do one more here because we got a final thought I want to spend a little time on. Craig Nedlinger, Dillsboro, North Carolina. Mr. O'Reilly just finished reading Killing the Legends. Excellent. I highly recommend the book to everyone. I look forward to reading the next book, and I've decided on Killing the Killers. You will not be disappointed, Craig. Killing the Killers, Dugard and I's best reporting that we did in any of the 12 Killing books. Legends is very entertaining. Killers hard news. All right, we have new polo shirts, summer, spring, coming fast. And there are no spin polo shirts, okay? No spin logo. If you're a premium concierge member, we'll give you seven bucks off. They're not expensive anyway. They're great looking shirts. Send a message. No spin in your life, okay? And uh, word of the day, do not be odious, O-D-I-O-U-S, odious. Back with a final thought on grooming in a moment. Inflation at its highest level in 40 years. Interest rates skyrocketing. We all know that. Market experts like Jamie Dimon, CEO of JP Morgan, not only predict a recession, but are using scary terms like economic hurricane and unprecedented. So you need to call the only precious metal dealer I trust, American Hartford Gold. They will show you how to protect your savings and retirement accounts by diversifying your portfolio with physical gold and silver. Please call them today and they will have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA or 401k. They have thousands of satisfied customers of the highest rated firm in the country with an A plus rating from the Better Business Bureau. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you and they'll give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Please call 866-501-5201. 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532. Again, 866-501-5201 or text BILL to 65532.
Here is the final thought of the day. So uh, the urchins were around over the uh, Christmas break. My daughter doesn't uh, have any problem with grooming. She always looks good. And, uh, you know, she understands that when you go out in public, you're judged. Might not be right, might not be fair by the way you look and the way you present yourself. So my son, good looking kid, uh, he's in college, he's a sophomore. He comes out and he decides not going to shave. So after day four, I'm having breakfast with Lon Chaney Jr. If you don't know who that is, the wolf man. Okay, and the moon wasn't even out. It was morning. And I'm looking at him and going, what, what is this message? What are we, oh, it's a vacation. I'm taking it easy. I, I, I said, look, I'm going to start, you know, putting a bag over your head here. This is not a good look. What does it matter? It matters. And not only does personal appearance matter, it's a discipline. You shower up every day. And if you want to grow a beard, or that's fine. It's your own business. As long as it's trim and it looks good. Okay? And your hair should be, you know, washed and whatever. Okay. Because the message it sends is, I'm proud of myself. I value myself. And I'm going to look the best I can look. And your property, too. If you're like the Adams family... I mean, people go by and I go, what's the matter with those people? Or if you have a nice piece of property, no matter what it is, you keep it nice. I mean, it reflects on you. Again, it's a discipline that you're proud, that, that you know you want to put forth a view of yourself, your property or whatever. That is, look, we respect ourselves and we respect what we have. So grooming and the other stuff is important. Thank you for watching and listening to the No Spin News. New column on Sunday noon. We'll see you again on Monday. Bill O'Reilly here for Lone Star Transfer. Many timeshare owners are upset that their yearly dues continue to increase and the annual fees never stop, even after you quit using the property. So if you are stuck in a timeshare, you're not alone. With an A-plus rating at the Better Business Bureau and hundreds of five-star testimonials, family-owned Lone Star Transfer is the only company you can trust, guaranteeing the release of all liability to your timeshare in writing and in a specific time frame. Lone Star Transfer's customer service is second to none. They will make your experience a pleasant one, done legally, ethically, and quickly. They have 15 years of experience in the timeshare disposal business and are here to help you. So start the new year off right with a free, no obligation consultation. Call 855-551-7066 or go to LoneStarTransfer.com. 855-551-7066.